Hello, welcome to Crafty Kitty. My name is Erin, and can somebody change whatever astrological event is going on that is throwing the world into chaos? So, like, I've had emergency weird medical things going on. Heather the Crochet Witch has got so much going on. Ray's got so much going on. Things are not awesome out there in the universe right now. To top it all off, someone <laughs> severed apparently our ISPs, one of their major conduits into the area. There is a massive <laughs> internet outage where I live and it's got like thousands of households without internet <laughs> and <laughs> They keep playing with us. They're toying with our emotions. They're like, oh, it's going to be fixed at 2 p.m. yesterday. Oh, no, no, we're going to have it fixed at midnight yesterday. Oh, no, no, don't worry. It's going to be fixed at 8.50 yesterday. Right now, it's supposed to be fixed today. I'm actually filming this on Friday because I was hoping I would be able to use my camera setup, trying to use my phone with the cellular data to upload. This is, it's a mess around here, people. <sighs> Let's get through this. We can get through this together. We can do it. Okay, so it's Friday. That's not time for Erin to complain about the universe. It is time for Fridays with Fred. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so Fridays with Fred is the day where I go through the project I'm working through in this book. Um, this is the official, it's called Knitting in the Neighborhood. It's the official knitting patterns of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So there we go. But first, we're going to go through our daily business. We have two stitch markers of the day from Miss Ellie Leva to open. This is from her Christmas set. We have day five. Oh, it's cute! So it's a red wooden bead with white polka dots and it's got a Rudolph. I'm saying Rudolph because there is a red nose. It's got a little reindeer charm. The charm keeps wanting to flip the wrong way. Let's see, okay. If we go this way, you don't get to see the pretty backing, but I think you'll see the charm better. Nope, it flipped. There maybe, there we go. Rudolph, beautiful. That text message, I was hoping it was the ISP. It is not. <sighs> Toying with us. Toying with us, I tell you. Did I not put one on here? One. Oh no, she's got... Okay, there's more hangers this time. Oh, I got a bigger set. There you go, big brain Aaron. Okay, now we're going for day six. Day six. Let's see. That reindeer was very cute. Let us see what... Oh, this is adorable! So this has some glass beads, and they're iridescent and shiny and beautiful, and a mitten enamel painted brass charm. Look at how cute that is. That's adorbsable. I am now realizing I have been wearing this sweatshirt quite a bit. It's one of my... You know, we all have those clothes where it's like, we're not having the best day. We just need something cozy to throw on. This is... And it's probably near the top because I've been wearing it so much. So it's been going through the laundry and therefore it just keeps staying at the top. So I'll get some new clothes out of the closet eventually for you. <sighs> okay, so day 15 of our ginger snap, ginger snap that advent calendar. I'm so excited. So we're in the greens. I think we're going to see a shift into a new color today. That is my belief. We'll have to find out, though. What do you think the new color is going to be? I am going to predict... Before, I thought we were going to shift into purple. I think we're going to go from red... Or, I'm sorry, from green. I think we're going to move into red. Or blue. But we had a lot of blue at the beginning. Red. We're going to move into red. It's a lovely green, and then we're bringing in some sky blue tones. 
Look at that. So we're pulling it back to the beginning. That is smart. You want to pull it. You want it to stay cohesive. I like it. I see where you're going. And I am here for this. I am here for this. This is going to be cool. I love that it's not traditional Christmas colors. I mean, like the blues, the purples, it has a Christmassy holiday feel without being in your face. Red, white, green, all of those classic colors. So here we go. Day one. We're going to move down blues into some purples and pinks and we're going to fade into the grays and the grays are going to start to bring in the greens then we got boom highlighter green and we're going to shift into some blues and you see how the blues are bringing us back to the blues oh, this is beautiful i this is going to be a showstopper uh sweater i think i'm starting i'll be honest i'm a little nervous about yardage but I'm always nervous about yardage. So I already said I want to do the Spectre sweater here. It's a Hohe Locatelli pattern. I've never done a Hohe Locatelli pattern. I'm very excited. I'm going to try it with this because I figure yarn this beautiful needs a special project. So we're going all out special on this one. And <clears throat> according to the yardage I read, I should have enough. But, I, you know, we're crafters. We always, you've always got that little uh, in the back of your, like, oh, is it going to be enough? So I always buy one to two extra skeins. I don't have extra yardage, according to my calculations. But, I mean, maybe some of these mini hanks are on the more generous size. I haven't weighed them or anything. I'm just going by the what they're supposed to be in the description. You know, it's always like 20 gram Hanks. Well, sure it could be, but it could be more like 21, 22. So if you've got what really 22, 23 grams over 24 mini Hanks, that's, that's starting to add up with some extra yardage. Anyway, we'll talk about that later when I'm making it. <laughs> we gotta have those existential crises later. No reason to have them now. We're going to talk about this. So you guys are joining me in this journey. And we voted. The first project we did was um, this beginnings cardigan. I made it for my husband. And now we are doing the Daniel Striped Tiger Puppet. Here is what we're going for. They used um, Lion Brand Go For Fleece Sherpa yarn. I'm using the Lion Brand. Sure I this is why I'm not talking to you, Siri. I'm sorry. Um, I'm using Lion Brand Go For Faux Furry Yarn. This is a seven weight. I'm using a six weight. I've made a little adjustments to try to do it. I think it. I think it's turned out fine so far. Um, I have all of the pieces knitted. It's now in assembly time. I will fully admit I should be further in assembling this. But if you saw my Hirschner's mystery box order, or I got the Hirschner's order with some um, neon stripes yarn because I have a plan now for the purple. And <laughs> I wanted, I, I also threw in one of their holiday yarn grab bags to see what they were like. And I got that gigantic wool in the gang yarn. And that was a puzzle I was determined to solve. And I have a creation. I finished it last night and Brian and I looked at my inspiration and we both agree that I achieved what I was going for. Bingo loves it. She gives it two thumbs up. So Bingo, when she gives thumbs up, she doesn't do her thumb. She just thumbs up. <laughs> um, so she gave me two thumbs up for it. But uh, I, I hate it. I hate it. Um, I didn't trim it. I didn't weave in the ends. I just, like, I knew as I was finishing it, I just felt it in my gut that it wasn't, it wasn't going to be for me. So we'll talk about it in the weekly roundup. But anyway, I was so kind of enamored and trying to solve the puzzle of that yarn 
a few other projects slipped to the side and we're crafters, that happens. But I did do some assembly. I have an arm attached. <laughs> so you're supposed to sew up the back and then attach the arms. But to me, it felt like it would be easier to attach the arms with the side seam, with the back seam open, because you could really get in there if I had to, and to like weave in the ends and everything. Oh, there's an end I, I need to trim off. But we have a puppet arm. <laughs> so it's close. Like I said, I have one arm to do, and then figure out where the eyes and the nose and that sew on the ears. I will sew the head and the back together before I put the ears on because I want to know you know what face the shape what shape the face is going to be before I start attaching all of that but yep yeah, there we go I got an arm we're going I'm going to be honest when I attached the arm and I don't think it's going to matter but I feel like the arm is like tilting this way a bit because I thought this was the front and maybe I just subconsciously tilted it a little bit that way. But I think it'll, as the kiddos play with it, it'll be just fine. Ah, hello, hello. Won't you be? Gotta ride that line with the copyright. Okay, so my goal is to have this finished next week. Um... I'm going to I'm going to show you guys what I made with that um wool in the gang yarn. You guys can help me. I think it's going to get ripped out, but having successfully created something with it, I think soothed that need to figure it out immediately and I'll rip it out, save the yarn, put it to the side and do something with it later or yeah, do something with it again in the future. But it shouldn't be the distraction that it was. Here are all my other little pieces, my arm and my two ears. And there we go. So what else do I have to chat about with you? Not too terribly much. I got a hobby order. I had to get my hands on the new yarn. So I'll be reviewing that next week. And actually, that'll probably be my Sunday video, I think. I think we'll talk about that on Sunday. Okay. Oh, I, with the internet issues, I don't think there will be a poor decisions this week either. Um, if we do it in a video form, we like to try to pre-film it so I have time to edit and upload. Um, and obviously we have not been able to do that. Um, and I don't know if I trust the cellular network to stream alive. So, Odds are we aren't going to have a poor decisions. And plus, kind of the poor decisions we have planned are food-based. And I still can't chew a lot of foods. Like, um, I can't do anything crunchy. And I can't do anything like ta anything that really works that jaw. I'm still, still eating pretty soft things. But everything is healing nicely. Everything's doing well. So, we're on... A good road there. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop blibber blabbering and I'll see you tomorrow with my weekly roundup and my crazy hair. Okay. <laughs> it just goes back to where it wants to be. Okay. Bye bye.